You've all seen those videos online on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, where people somehow type in that secret code onto the vending machine keypad and somehow get a free bag of Skittles or free bag of chips or maybe even sometimes their money back. But do those secret codes actually work? Can you actually hack into a vending machine to get a free Pop-Tart or free Snickers that's worth 50 cents? Baby, duh, we've seen those videos. The answer is... <laughs> I don't know. I actually have no idea if those codes work. I get a ton of comments on people asking me, can you actually hack into a vending machine? For everyone that has never watched my videos before, I do have a vending machine business and I've seen those videos, okay? I've seen those videos on people somehow hacking into a vending machine to get a free item and I've always asked myself, like, can people actually do that to a vending machine? But like I said, I do have a vending machine business and I'm pretty sure you can't hack into a vending machine, but today we're going to be putting that to the test and see if those codes, those secret formulas that people use to get a free item from a vending machine actually work. Anyways, what's good everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope every single one of you is having a wonderful day. But like I said, today we're going to be testing out these codes to see if you can actually get a free item from a vending machine. And before all the comments start coming in on Jaime wanting to test out all these things on your own vending machines, because if you guys saw the video where we went out and tested fake money like Monopoly and counterfeit money on a random vending machine, a lot of people said I should have done it on my own machine. You remember that video? Yeah, I remember. So this time, don't worry, we are going to be testing it out on my own vending machine. So if my machine breaks, it's, it's you guys' fault because y'all said to try it out on my machine, <laughs> <laughs> right? All right, but anyways, guys, right now we are in one of my locations. We actually have to come and fill up the machine, so we do have, um, you know, a few stuff back there. We got some chips, we got some cupcakes, and we do have the drinks in the back, so we are going to be restocking the machine. But before we go inside, we actually have to find some codes or some secret hacks that people use. So, I mean, do I just go to YouTube and type in vending machine, wait, vending machine hacks? All right, so we got, okay, so we got this one. Look, top five vending machine hacks. I started watching it. I didn't finish the whole thing, but it looks like some of these hacks are actually, they look real. Like, they actually look real. So let's look at this video real quick and see what happens. Oops, as shown. So one dollar that way, okay. <sighs> some people just don't know how to record. <laughs> this might as well be the holy grail <laughs> of vending machines right, right here. Let's do it. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, no! No! It's gonna work, it's gonna work. Oh, dude, it's Yes! No. Chips? <laughs> that's not even hacking a vending machine, that's just the machine getting stuck and then they. Yeah, they're not even hacking the machine, they're just putting in more money to get more stuff because it, it's getting stuck. So, really quick, let's punch in the code star, star, pound, star, pound, star, pound, star. Pound, and then we're going to hit C3. And then I got that, but look, there's no change in the change machine, and so, and then you just want to hit this coin return button right here. Dang, you think that actually works? So he basically, he, he pressed like star pound, star pound, star pound like five times or something. He then picks out the item he was gonna get and then he presses the, the coin re return button to get his change back and it gives him the money back. I wonder, I don't think that works, but we'll see in a second once we go inside. Okay, so look at the first video. How to hack any vending machine. Let's see what's up with this video. Oh my god, that intro. It's actually a full-on intro and it says how to hack any vending machine. I guess you at least have to be professional about this, you know? If you're gonna make a video on how to hack a vending machine, at least make it professional. Make a, you know, make a PowerPoint, make an actual intro, at least to make it good. But anyways, let's see what she says. Hi guys, as college students, we're all a little tight on money, but we still have to eat, right? Today, we're gonna show you how to save a couple dollars by hacking a vending machine. Have you ever noticed on some vending Hey, we actually have that snack machine. This code is very important. This is how you're gonna get your refund on your money. So remember this code. Star, star, pound, star, pound, star, pound. I think I'm gonna get some Fritos for 65 cents. A zero. There it goes. And I still got 65 cents. Wait, is that the exact same code? Yeah, it's the same one. Star, star, wait, how many pounds do you have? This one's I only- four. This one's three though. Okay, so the first code, it's almost the same, but the first one has four, four pounds. This one only has three. Are you sure that was it? 
Yeah, I mean, the kid put the dollar in first and then the code. The lady put the code in first and then the money. You think he was just showing like different vending machines to show that they all did the same thing? Yeah, like, I mean, because it's the same video, but they're testing it out on different machines to show that it actually does work. So what if it does? But I'm gonna say it right now, okay? Do not test this out on any vending machines in public. Because if you get in trouble, I don't want you guys to come back and be like, I saw a video by Jaime Ibanez and I saw him doing this, so I'm gonna go out and do it. No, don't do that. No. There's this one with 3.4 million views. How to hack a vending machine. This video is for educational purposes only. <laughs> I think I think it's so funny how all these videos showing you how to hack into a vending machine are so professional. Like look at this guy, he has some good videography skills. Get a code. What is going on? It's not hacking. <laughs> what did I just watch? That was the last thing I expected to see. <laughs> oh, I gotta watch that again. <laughs> what? Dang. I can't watch that no more. That hurts me. <laughs> that hurts me so much. Imagine that happening to one of our machines. Oh, I can't watch no more. That's crazy. Who would do that to a vending machine? I mean, I would for a video, but still. I mean, you wanted to. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's one way to hack into a vending machine, but obviously <laughs> we're not going to be doing that. <laughs> Alright guys, so look, I've been trying to look for codes for the past like 30 minutes already. We could only find how many? We found like two or three. Two What's... that are like literally almost the same. Yeah, so we found two codes. They're basically the same thing. We have everything to fill up the machines. We got the chips. Everything is maybe melted by now. So now let's go inside. Let's fill up the machine and see if these codes actually work. Again, like I said, if they do, do not try them at home, okay? You think they're actually going to work? I don't know. I actually, I don't think they're gonna work, but you never they seem, know. They seem pretty convincing. Actually. Yeah, like we looked at the videos and it looks like they do work. It's actually very hot outside, right? And it's only like 10 in the morning. I know, we just turned off the car and it just got really, ugh. Are you gonna restock everything? Yes. Really? You want to? Yeah. All right, so there you go. We got the drinks. Just put the chips on top. Are you gonna carry it? No, you said you wanted to. No, it's cause I'm scared it's gonna fall. It's not, look. Fall. It's not gonna fall. You have to like tilt it back. Yeah, like that. Is it not okay? It's not. Just tilt it. It's okay. It's okay. See? You got it. If it falls, can you not blame me? Okay. All right, and here we go. So this is the machine that we have. We have a few things empty. Look, we got one, two, three, four, five, five empty slots. All right, so do we fill up the machine first and then we test out the hacks or? I think we should fill it up first. You said you were gonna fill up the machine, so get to it. I, I didn't hear nothing. I said, I said get to it. <laughs> oh, so sorry, I, I, don't, I don't know how to snap. <laughs> I actually, don't make fun of me, look. <laughs> Hey, hey, why are you taking the money without me? We got a five in there. All right, but anyways, now for what everyone has been waiting for. Do vending machine codes or hacks actually work? By the way, I'm talking low just because, you know, people are working here, so I don't want to speak too loud. You still are. Am I speaking loud? Yeah. All right, guys, so look, we got two codes. The first one is pound, pound, no. Star, star, pound, star, pound, star, pound, star, pound. And the second one is kind of the same thing. It's a uh, star, star, pound, star, pound, star, pound. But they're in different orders. So the first one, you put the money in first and then the code, right? Yes. 
I'm kind of nervous because what if it works? Yeah. You put the money in first? Never Wait, go. did he choose first? No, right? He has to do that thing and then he chooses? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Star, star. Wait, what happened? It just gave you the money back, right? Yeah. Like, do you think this machine is programmed so you can't hack into it? Because, look, so? the first button you press was a star and then it gave you the money back. Yeah. One more time. All right, so we got the dollar in there. Let's see. Maybe we gotta do it quick. Star, star, power. Ah, oh, no, it doesn't. Yeah, it's not gonna do as it. As soon as I press it, it gives the money back. Wait, I have an idea. What? Okay, because look, the second one, you put the code in first and then the money. What if we try doing that? All right, so you guys saw the first one didn't work. Let's see if the second one works. Star, star, pound, star, pound, star, pound. There? Yeah. And put the money in. And then that's whenever you pick the product you want, and it should give you the money back. Okay. So see, just pick anything random. Good turn. Okay, you got the Skittles. And then press that. Thank you, and goodbye. Nothing? No. Well, that's the money that was in there already, so, I mean... You think, think it's just yours? Like, your machine doesn't work? I don't think so, because you saw the guy, he tested it out on different machines. Yeah. But it could just be mine, because, look, the first code, as soon as we pressed the first button, it gave the money back. Pound, star, pound, star, pound. And then put the dollar in. Snickers, 35. And then... Thank you. Thank nope. You nope. Nothing. All right, guys, so we just made it back home, and as you guys can see, you cannot hack into a vending machine. You can't use a secret code to get a free drink, a free bag of chips. I mean, what if there's different codes out there? Because we only use two. Because we could only find two. Okay, look, if you guys find a different video, a different code, or maybe even a different hack that you guys think will work in a vending machine, hit me up on Instagram, let me know, because maybe we can make a different video trying out different hacks. All right, but anyways, I still hope you guys enjoyed the video. If y'all did, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know down below what other videos you guys want to see. We love y'all. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out, and I hope everyone has a good day.